Oh, ho, ho. what's this? Did they finally get rid of Scope Sway on snipers? Nah. It's yeah. just a pistol. Ah, uh, sir, I think we should take a look at this before you record. Hey! Not now. I gotta complain about video games. I mean, come on, D. It's been a while since I've held any kind of gun. But I can tell you one thing. I've held both a pistol and a rifle before. And you can take it from me? It is a hell of a lot easier to stabilize your aim with a rifle than it is with a pistol that you're holding with one hand. Sir, I really think you should look at all this. Shh! Now look, you might think that I go out of my way to bitch and complain about snipers for the sake of making videos. But oh wait, you're only half right. See, most of the time, my urge to complain honestly just falls right into my lap. And for whatever reason, there are just certain releases that remind me, hey, you still wield sniper rifles about as effectively as a seizure-prone snake. In this case, the scoped pistols like the Arca Cisco make no sense. I mean, for the love of God, D.E., when, when are you going to fix sniper- Sir! What? Oh. <sighs> so, I had this entire video planned out. It was going to be wonderful. <laughs> you would hear me bitch and moan about snipers for the 50th time. I would have kept my weekly upload schedule. And then I could have gone back to starving for content while Planes of Eidolon got delayed. And I could have been thinking about what turd to pop out next week. I had it all planned out. But then this got released, and suddenly my entire plan has gone right down the toilet. Had I talked about this the way that I intended to while these changes were floating around, I would have looked more like a jackass than usual, so... What do now? Well, I guess we can just ignore the fact that snipers are finally getting updated and just focus on the weapon. A weapon that has been out for fucking ages and something no one cares about, but... What do you want from me? I'm starved for content here. Alrighty, so ignoring the sniper changes, let's just assume nothing was announced. This pistol basically encompasses everything that snipers should be. You know, barring the lack of punch through and maybe the fact that it sounds like a shittier Star Wars blaster gun that you'd find on a Toys R Us shelf. May it rest in peace. Let's just go down a checklist of everything that this thing does right, even though it would have made so much more sense to give these abilities to fucking snipe no scopes way? Check. Indeed, your super high-tech space ninja doesn't like they're having an asthma attack while holding their weapon. But need I remind you, they hold this thing with one hand. One fucking hand. Combo hit decays over time instead of vanishing all at once into the void along with your hopes and dreams. Double check. Hell, the combo doesn't even decay faster if you miss shots, so let's just check that as number three. This thing, in all seriousness, is a great sidearm, and I think it's a hint at how future weapons are going to be designed. And if not, this is how they should be designed. And if that turns out to be the case, that is awesome. Just as long as we stay away from gimmicks like the Sinoid Heliocore. I'd show you footage of how shit that clone is, but I kinda trashed it immediately after milking out the mastery. Yeah, it was so bad I couldn't even hold on to it for a shitty joke. As for the Arca Cisco, I mean, it's not as broken as the infested tossable nutsack known as the Pox, for example, but it's a solid pistol that does a lot of its unique mechanics right. It's not like the Toxicist, where it has a neat perk to it, but it lacks the ability to refresh its buff, still waiting on that DE. I like this weapon because it is the foundation of what most weapons should be. Even though, much like the Archiplasmor, it has the same stupid <laughs> stat variables, but I'll try to let that go for now. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's see here, what else can I pad this video out with? Okay, I gotta be honest, I, I have nothing, so, you know what, let me just get this out of the way real fast. I hit 10,000 subs recently. You know, it's kinda strange, to be honest, because it was only just at the end of March that this channel hit 10,000 subs, 
which was absolutely ridiculous to me back then, and quite frankly, it still very much is. Even though not all of them are active, that's 1,000 individual people watching the stuff that I put out. Try to picture 1,000 people in a room. It is ridiculous. Now, try multiplying that number by 10. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Okay, so I won't drag this on for too long since it's clear that not many folk are interested in videos talking about subscriber count. Hell, that's the entire reason that I stuck this at the end of a regular video. I just wanted to say thank you because I still think that the only reason that this channel has grown as much as it has was down to pure luck. This one video that I did way back then blew up purely by chance, and I think it caused a domino effect that eventually led to the channel being as big as it is now. At least, that's my guess. Anyways, thanks again guys. I just wanted to promise one thing, my next video won't be as fillery as this one. Uh, I'm either going to start on a limbo guide, which I think will be really, really appreciated to, uh, for a lot of people, or I'm probably going to try a, you know, a fashion so uh, showcase. Um, there's not a whole lot to work with until Planes of Eidolon drops, but I'll figure something out. So, one last time, thank you all again.